Sufjan Stevens, The Age of Odds. Hi, Jeremy. Well, 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 well. Hello, my needle drops. Anthony Fantano, Internet's busiest music nerd here. And uh, it's time to do a little bit of an album review. Sufjan Stevens, The Age of Odds. This is Stevens' first full-length LP of original singer-songwriter material since 2005's Illinois. And we've all been just dying to hear him come out with this kind of stuff again, especially after hearing some really impressive orchestrations throughout the All Delighted People EP, something I reviewed earlier this year. You can click on that cover or head down in the D-Box to see my review of that. But this album came with a big of a stipulation. There was a lot of talk as to how electronic the Age of Odds was going to be, especially after the blogosphere kept bringing it up, and Sufjan released a little single digitally from the album I Walked. Now, over the years, tons of songwriters have experimented or flirted with the idea of electronic music. Look at Neil Young with the album Trans. And sometimes this kind of adventure can be career-changing. I know a lot of people, in light of this album, have been bringing up Radiohead's Kid A left and right. And when you dive into the indie sphere, there are even more examples. Some of them awe-inspiring and highly influential, while others just didn't fare so well as time drew on. Now, even though a lot of people are making a big deal of this LP, this is not Steven's first foray into electronic music. I mean, look at the album Enjoy Your Rabbit. That thing is highly, highly experimental, bold, challenging, instrumental, colorful, fun. You can really call that album a lot of things. But if you're simply looking for a return to Rabbit on odds, you're going to be sadly disappointed. I'm going to try to break this down as simply as possible, despite the fact that this thing is over an hour long. Now, if you're enjoying all the orchestrations, the arrangements on albums or releases like BQE, Illinois, all delighted people, then chances are you may get into this quite a bit. I think I hear woodwinds, of course there's also brass, piano, strings, all that instrumentation that Stevens has basically built a reputation on is here, most definitely. This thing is not geared toward those who side with the simplistic. Certainly in terms of how songs are structured, the melodies, some of the lyrical content, this thing isn't too far from what we've heard from Sufjan recently. In fact, the title track on here has a hook that is very similar to that of the title track on All Delighted People. But the 300-pound gorilla in the room, or what makes the age of odds odd, is its beats. Though there are synths on this album, effects, indulgent buzzes and bumps, those things aren't contributing to the electronic feel of this release as much as the rhythms are. And a lot of them are noisy, sputtering, messy, and intentionally so. The sad part is I'm not really enjoying them all that much. All the electronics, for me, just feel so out of place against this album's more traditional instrumentation. All the orchestrations plus all these bleeps and bloops certainly do make a sensory overload, and there are a lot of albums that have come out this year that have just bombarded me with sound, and I've enjoyed that, most certainly. But I really only like it when... I'm being bombarded with sounds that I like. The really low-end beats, the claps, the fluttering clicks, the white noise snares on this thing just leave a bad taste in my ears. It's something I just can't ignore, even if a song itself comes off as being really good. Like The Age of Odds, like Get Real, Get Right, even like I Walked. One of my major issues is that the volume or the dynamics of the electronics don't flow with that of everything else on most of these songs, making many of the tracks feel kind of one-dimensional or just flat. But not every song is like that. There are some interlude-like moments on this thing, songs where they really kind of take it back on the beats, like the intro or the song Bad Communication. And even though these parts of the album are pleasant, and I wouldn't take them away from the album, they most definitely don't feel like highlights. What it comes down to is it's just not something I'm digging. I know there are tracks on this album where the beats, the electronics, are a lot more dynamic and do flow with the music a little bit better. One track in particular, the second to last song, I Want to Be Well, has more shifts, more changes, more contrast in its six minutes than much of this album does in any of its ten. And the closer, the 25-minute Impossible Soul, despite my meh attitude toward a lot of the songs before it is extremely impressive. There was a lot more subtlety. There were builds. There were fall. 
walls. The electronics didn't take precedent over everything else. There were not only synthesized beats, but acoustic drums on much of this track as well. I love the noisy guitar solos on this song, the huge choruses, when it broke into sort of a dance moment. Even the three minute acoustic part at the end of it was pretty good. Even the auto-tune wasn't that bad. I'm honestly feeling a strong 6 on this thing. It might make it to a light, maybe a decent 7 on a great day, but yeah, pretty much just a, a strong 6 on this. And despite that, I would be excited and interested to hear Sufjan Stevens go down maybe even a little further into this electronic direction. I mean, this thing, for me, kind of feels like Sufjan, even though he has put out that album, Enjoy Your Rabbit, he's just kind of simply dipping his toe into the electronic arena on this thing. Many of these tracks would sound pretty much exactly the same if you just recorded them with acoustic drums and just replaced these beats. It's not like the electronics have really altered how Sufjan writes music, they have just kind of become another tool that he uses to make music. And that's how I'm feeling on this thing. What do you guys think about this? Sufjan Stevens, Age of Odds, is this thing as electronic as it's cracked up to be? And did you like Sufjan going down this particular road? Uh, what's your favorite track? What's your least favorite track? And how would you score this thing? And are you going to pick it up? Hmm. Anthony Fantano, Sufjan Stevens, Age of Odds, Forever.